guys welcome back to my channel so today I have a tutorial on how to apply lashes I'm gonna show you how I cut my lash how I apply the lash my favorite products to apply the lash I know it's really difficult and tricky to get the lash down but once you have it down packed I promise you you're gonna be addicted to applying lashes and you're always gonna want to wear them because lashes are so much fun they change the eye shape they change the look so much and they just give you that extra oomph especially when going out I feel like lashes are a must so if you're struggling with applying lashes this video is for you do not fear the lash because the lash can sense your fear I believe in you I hope you find this video helpful so if you'd like to see how I apply my lashes then keep on watching so to get started you want to give your lashes a quick curl if your lashes are pretty straight if you have curly lashes or just normal lashes, you don't have to curl them, but you want to give them a quick curl, nothing too crazy, just one, two pumps on each eye. The next step is also optional, it's to apply a thin layer of mascara. We are going to be covering up our normal lash, so you don't have to go too crazy and do like your normal mascara routine, just a quick coat of mascara will do and I find that this helps when I apply the lash because when I apply the lash I don't have to apply so much mascara afterwards because the real lash and the fake lash are going to blend a lot easier. I chose these lashes because they're not too dramatic and they're not too simple. They're the perfect in between and they last a really long time. So I like to bend the plastic back and then with my thumb gently remove the lash from the center. With delicate lashes like this, you don't want to pull too hard or tug at them because you can lose some lash hairs and then you're pretty much screwed because the other lash is going to be full and then this one isn't. Most lashes come with this extra piece of plastic so you go ahead and take those little pieces off and then from there you measure to see if the lash fits your eye. So without any glue, you just go ahead and place the lash. I like to place the lash in the center and then kind of press the edges. So once you lay down the lash without any glue, you can see if the lash is going to fit your eye. Now with this specific lash, I feel like I could get away without cutting it, but I feel as though the front portion is just a little too close and throughout the day it's going to poke me and it's going to be really uncomfortable. Also, you want to make sure that when you put your lash, especially if they're a flared out lash like this, like a wispy end, that the wispy end is not drooping down so it's not past your eyes. With a lot of eye shapes, what happens is people just apply the lash too close to the outer edge of the eye and then it just makes the eyes look really droopy and lazy rather than lifted. It's always good to just trim them a little bit. Even if the lash fits me, I like to trim them a little and you always trim from the end of the lash, so the flared out part. If you start trimming from the front of the lash, what's going to happen is you're going to have a lot of volume in the front and it's not going to give you that natural wispy flared out lash. Even with my really dramatic lashes, you don't really normally get a lot of volume in the front. In the beginning, you want to cut as little as possible, so cut a little and then measure and then cut a little. And go little by little because if you cut too much, you're going to end up with a really short lash and it's just not going to flatter your eye. And then you have to cut the other one and you're just going to keep on cutting and it's just going to ruin the lash. So little by little, I've worn enough lashes to know kind of where I want to trim the lash. I pretty much have memorized how much to trim. Even when I'm doing a client's makeup, I kind of just eyeball it, cut, and then measure just because I've been using so many lashes. Then I'll go ahead and measure them one more time. So that looks about right. You do want to measure both of them just to make sure that they're both evenly cut just so you don't have one lash longer than the other one because you're definitely going to notice and it's just going to look really odd. So I get it as close to perfect as possible. Sometimes the lash band is a little too straight so I like to give it a little bit of a bend. So I just hold the lash and just kind of twirl it and bend it a little. My two favorite lash adhesives are the Revlon Precision Lash Adhesive and it has to be this clear one and the House of Lashes Lash Adhesive. For some reason when I use the darker versions of these glues, they just don't stick on my eyes. So what I do is I just dip the brush into the glue and then I'm going to coat the band just so that it has a nice even thin layer of glue. You don't want to overboard on the glue, not too much, not too little, just so that you can see the glue on the whole lash band. So it should look something like this and I like to give the corners just a little extra love. This glue is no joke. I do put a little bit of extra glue on the corners just in case but this seriously doesn't come off ever. Once I've applied the glue to both lashes, I just sit them down somewhere safe. And 
and I just let the glue dry. I think the most important thing with lashes and lash application is letting the glue get tacky and letting the glue get dry. I see way too many people try to put lashes and then get really, really frustrated when the lash is just slipping and sliding, especially with glues like the Duo. Because they are so watery, what happens is you put the glue and then you just wait like two seconds to try to put the lash on and it's not going to be tacky and then the lash is going to be slipping and sliding and you're going to have glue all over the place. You're going to take it off, you're going to have glue all over your lid and it's just not pretty. So with any glue, you have to wait. I like to wait a really long time. Some people wait like 3 seconds, 5 seconds, 30 seconds. I like to wait about a minute. I know it sounds crazy, but it always works for me and my lashes are never coming off. While I wait for my lashes to dry, I'll go ahead and continue my makeup and I kind of forget that the lashes are there. And then when I go to apply the lash, it's just going to stick right away. So another tip that I have for you guys is to have a mirror below you. So instead of looking straight on when applying the lash, have a mirror below you. I'm already directly looking down into my tabletop mirror, but you can use like a handheld mirror or just any compact and it's a lot easier to have your mirror below you and looking down when you're applying the lash rather than just straight on because when you look down you really get to see your whole lid. Another tip is to have something laid down. So it's actually really hard to put lashes onto bare skin. For some reason it just doesn't adhere. Applying lashes with no eyeshadow, no liner, no pencil liner on the lid can look really obvious if the band is thick. Now if you have a clear band like the Ardell Demi Wispy or something like that, it's a little bit more seamless but if the band is thick you will see the band and you will have to kind of put a little bit of liner right in the inner corner where there isn't a lash. Also another tip is to tight line. So you just take any black pencil and while your lashes are drying, you just look up and you just apply liner to that upper lid. Now what this is gonna do is when you apply the lash, there isn't gonna be that weird space. On some people it shows more than on others, but sometimes you'll just put the lash and then you'll see that empty clear space. So you'll have a wing liner and your lash, but then it still doesn't look that black and it still doesn't look as perfected. So just take a black liner, make sure it's waterproof and just tight line on the inside. That's going to really help for the lashes and the wing liner just to look like one and it's going to look really cohesive. Another major, major key for applying lashes is an applicator. Now some people prefer their hands, especially if they have fake nails because they get to pinch the lash. So when I first started applying lashes, I was using a tweezer, but then I discovered this guy. So this is a MAC lash applicator. I've tried tons of other lash applicators, but this one is by far my favorite. The reason I love it so much is because of its shape. If you notice, it has a rounded kind of slant right here. So when you pick up the lash and you apply it, it pretty much holds it exactly where you need it to be held. So once you pick up the lash, it just fans it out and when you apply the lash it's just so much easier. Trust me, putting on lashes before having an applicator was doable for me but it wasn't as easy as with this. I can apply my lashes so fast and so quick with this guy so I'm telling you it's worth the $20. It is an investment and your lashes are going to come on a lot easier. Psychologically, it's a lot less intimidating to have this as an applicator than a sharp tweezer. For some reason, when I put this near my client's eyes, they don't get bothered, but with a tweezer, there's just like a fear of me poking their eye out. So this is definitely a game changer. If you haven't tried this, please try it. If you trust me with anything, trust me with this one. By holding the lash towards the end of the lash rather than right next to the band, it gives you more control and you get to see the band where you're placing it. So what I like to do is kind of align the lash and apply the center of the lash in the center of the eye. So by looking down, I'm just going to apply the center just like that. And then you can either take your finger or the applicator and then apply the other ends of the lash. And you obviously want to get it as close to your natural lashes as possible. But when you do have a wing liner or something down there, it's a little less detectable if you don't get it as close. If you don't have wing liner, you definitely want to be really, really careful to get the lash as close as close to the natural lashes. A lot of people ask me, do you put the lash on your real lashes or on the skin? And the answer is both, right in between. So on your skin, so on the eyelid, where your natural lash is, you want to apply it right up against that. So that's going to make them kind of blend together. If you apply the lash too high and not too close to your natural lashes, 
you can just remove them and try again. I know that sounds painful, but I promise you it's not. I like to take the ends of the applicator and just press down on the whole lash band just to ensure that everything is on there nice and even, nothing is lifting. So this is going to ensure that they're not going anywhere. It isn't recommended to wear mascara with mink lashes, but what I like to do is take my mascara, pull my lid up, and just apply mascara to the base, not so much the tips. If you have a more natural fake lash, you definitely want to apply some mascara. It's going to make it look a lot more realistic, but if you have really thick ones or just really dramatic ones, putting mascara isn't necessary, but I still put mascara on them. You don't want to apply too much mascara to the tips of the falsies because that's when the false lash starts looking really fake and just plasticky and spidery, so focus the mascara on the base of your lash and then pull up just a little bit. Once you have your lashes on, I like to give them a little bit of a lift with my fingers. You can curl them with a lash curler, but sometimes that can get a little messy, so I like to just kind of finger curl them and then take your liquid liner if you are using liquid liner that day and then you could just track the liner and the lash just so that there's no gaps. This is also going to cover any glue that hasn't dried yet. Applying lower lash mascara is definitely optional. Some people prefer that really wide eye open look and then some other people like to kind of balance out the top heaviness by applying some lower lash mascara. If I'm using really dramatic upper lashes, I always put some mascara on my lower lashes. If I'm doing Ardell Dummy Wispies, sometimes I prefer not to do lower lash mascara because your eyes are going to look really wide and awake. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Oh, I can see the doubt in those eyes. Even though you try to hide it, there's not much to figure out. Cause I know why.